Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nashar Computer Services and here is a computer that's a total mystery. I have placed a previous video where I couldn't wrap my head around the problem why this computer does what it does. I'll show you what it does and then we'll see what causes the problem. As you can see, I have lots of parts just for this computer. It took me quite a while to figure this one out. In the end, it was plain simple um, and uh, just impossible to diagnose. All right, so let's power it up. So we push the power button. The computer kicks in, starts booting. And it keeps going and going. And uh, it shuts off at various times. Uh, most of the time it shuts off um, when it starts the graphical user interface which has led me to believe that the original motherboard had an issue with it oh I disconnected everything hang on just a sec all right well, let's try it again so we turn it on and the computer starts booting And then shuts off and it shuts off at various um, times uh, sometimes it goes farther sometimes it doesn't go as you can see right now it doesn't take very long for it to shut off at all and I have followed all the suggestions um, and uh, tried everything so let's look at this as you can see most everything's disconnected I have gone through different types of memory different speeds disconnected everything including the uh, monitor and it would sometimes shut off uh, I did the verbose mode where I see what's loading um, and it would show me that it starts the Wi-Fi. So I thought, okay, maybe Wi-Fi disconnected, Wi-Fi disconnected the battery, disconnected the hard drive. Let's see. So here I'm disconnecting the hard drive and it's going to do the same thing. I'm going to disconnect the uh, trackpad, CD-ROM. Uh, speakers won't cause this kind of issue. Um, Let's get here. <clears throat> it starts up, goes in. There is no hard drive right now. <clears throat> it goes farther. But if I recon... Oh, yeah, this is another thing. When I have the hard drive disconnected, the computer works okay. Um, it gives me a question mark that there is no hard drive present. Tried figuring this one out. And uh, everything threw me off of, of what actually caused the problem. Um, and here it is. It's the keyboard. Now, why I didn't disconnect the keyboard to begin with? Uh, because the power button is on the keyboard and the power button works. When I push the power button, it turns on the computer. Why would I care about the keyboard if it turns on right now? If I connect any hard drive to the computer, any hard drive at all with any operating system, it shuts off. 
I thought maybe it was the motherboard. That would be the obvious conclusion for anybody. I've gone through several motherboards. This is the third one. It does exactly the same thing. So in the end, I thought, huh, the only thing I could think of that I did not disconnect was the keyboard. All right, let's disconnect the keyboard and reconnect the hard drive. Okay, disconnecting the keyboard. By the way, on these older machines, the trick to connecting and disconnecting the keyboard is to put a piece of tape over the uh, ribbon. Makes the job easier now. For connecting, for disconnecting, eh, this one is not easy to disconnect. You gotta use uh, tweezers. Let me pause it and get it disconnected. All right, didn't want to rip the ribbon even though the keyboard's getting replaced. So now, the only thing that's connected to this motherboard is the hard drive. So let's connect the hard drive. I even disconnected the fan, did exactly the same thing. So now that the hard drive's reconnected, oh, we can't turn it on like that anymore. So we gotta use the tweezers and short these pads here. So it kicks in a gear. And what do you know? It's booting. Booting as if nothing ever happened with it. One thing that did tickle my curiosity is I did get this computer to boot several times. It would short and uh, um, stop working eventually, but it did go into Apple. And one thing that was coming up is uh, computer shutdown. The window would come up you're shutting down your computer and that was kind of weird couldn't understand where that one came from so as you can see it works just fine so somewhere in the keyboard there is a spill that spill causes the short between the power button and one of the keys and that's what's causing the problem on this computer it's unbelievable it's really, really, really difficult to diagnose because of how it works. The blame always goes on the motherboard. The motherboard had nothing to do with this. This is an unusual crossing inside of the keyboard connectors that causes this kind of weird behavior. Whoa, so hopefully this unique experience helps somebody diagnosed their problem and uh, um, you know save money that's what it's all about as I said I would push the power button the computer would kick in occasionally it would go to this screen and it would show me a window saying computer is shutting down and I couldn't understand where that information was coming from because I actually tried typing things on a keyboard before it hung up and uh, it allowed me to type and the power button worked so and nobody told me there was a spill on it maybe there was not a spill on it or not you know major enough to be recognized but this is definitely water related damage and uh, this is one of the absolutely absolutely weirdest problems that I had to deal with it took me almost week and a half of thinking on how to resolve this problem because it just did not nothing made sense on this computer absolutely nothing the keyboard seemed to work the power button seemed to work the I plug in a, a hard drive into a different computer it works I plug in a different hard drive into this computer it doesn't work I plugged in a hard drive SSD everything had the same result and what I also did to eliminate the hard drive is I plugged in 
um, restore USB with no hard drive just to see if it's if the hard drive is somehow causing this issue it did the same thing it would turn on go for a little bit and then turn itself off so very very complicated problem um, quite easy to um, get swayed off there are so many uh, dead ends on this problem that just you just ignore the keyboard because it seems to work that's the problem you cannot ignore any any components so um, in the end I thought you know I started just going down the list and the only thing I did not disconnect was the keyboard and I didn't disconnect it because the power button worked if the power button was shorted for example okay if there was a shortened power button how can I turn it on you know if it's shorted it wouldn't recognize my pushings so it's not shorted it's shorted somewhere in here that's the weirdest part so the computer gets the uh, signal to turn on but then the signal the button is kind of staying pressed all the time and this computer sees oh the buttons pressed turn off that's how you can turn off the computer by pushing and holding the power button for several seconds and the computer shuts off that's why it was constantly shutting off at different uh, places then I would uh, turn the computer upside down maybe something wiggles inside it would go farther than this and then come back to the same problem all right, I'm very excited that this now is resolved. I just have to order a new keyboard, and this computer is going back to its owners. Thank you. And again, give me likes and subscribe.